Thank you to Clean My Mac X for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys. So this is really as raw as it gets when it comes to what my desk setup looks like currently. So I've tried out a ton of different desk setup aesthetics, styles, themes. It's something I've really grown passionate about and you could say has been my entry point into interior design. I remember starting out with the iconic Ikea countertop with the Alex drawers as like my first real, you could say like big boy setup. I also learned that the desk itself is just the start. As you can tell, I no longer have an Ikea desk setup. However, that setup is still goaded. But one aspect that has remained constant since my first phase of desk setups is wall shelving. By incorporating various shelves, I've transformed my setup into a more immersive environment. This vertical element draws my gaze upward, creating this illusion that my setup is larger or more expansive than it actually is. One thing that you wanna keep top of mind when thinking about the desk setup accessories that matter are what type of theme you want. Do you want a lighter wood finish? Do you prefer maple? Do you want a darker theme finish with walnut? If you're in a brighter environment, you can get away with having a darker theme. But if you're in an environment that doesn't have the best natural lighting, maybe a more maple wood finish would be more satisfying and exciting to use. After nearly a year with my one terabyte MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro chip, it's time for an autumn cleanup using Clean My Mac. With accumulated video files and documents pushing capacity, I'll use Clean My Mac to free up space, remove unnecessary files, and optimize performance. All you have to do is launch the app. After running a scan, nearly seven gigabytes of unneeded junk was removed. It did a threat scanning, which gives me a peace of mind that my Mac is healthy and safe, along with nearly 80 gigabytes of unneeded stuff deleted. Thanks to Clean My Mac, we were able to free up almost 100 gigabytes of storage. If you also want to clean and speed up your Mac, be sure to click the link in my description box. We just got a massive PR package from Sony. This is my first ever PR box from Sony. It reminds me of like one of those sneaker videos where you do like a mystery box. I had an idea of what was in the box, but I didn't know it would be this many accessories. Desk setups are always evolving, and I don't know if there will ever be a time that I feel like my setup is perfect, especially as I evolve with my own style and taste. However, there are a few things that I think are missing or simply in need of an upgrade to make my setup even better. I started watching other creators on YouTube, browsing inspirational setups on Pinterest, and of course, adding way too many items to my Amazon cart. I decided that I needed a new light, so I went ahead and purchased the Logitech G Litra Beam. organizers because let's face it it's techtober so these devices are really starting to pile up i also decided to upgrade my desk with the journey ulti ultra wireless charging desk mat in this really clean black leather finish all right guys so we got the remainder of our packages i've actually never been so excited about a desk mat or drawer organizer Wow, finally got the desk mat so the desk setup can finally come together to what I envisioned it to be. So with these drawer organizers, they're third party coming from Amazon. From what I've searched and based on the videos I saw, it looks like other people 
who have purchased these have Husky work benches as well. So my confidence level that these will actually fit is like 60%, but we'll see. This box already looks too small. All right. Being unorganized is driving me nuts. Okay, so it looks like we've got some good news and bad news. So the good news is these bins work. The bad news is I need like 5X the amount of storage bins. Should have did a little bit more research, but sometimes the Amazon listings look, they're just so confusing. And this was one of them, but now I know. So I would just replace the top drawer because that's the drawer I store the most amount of things and I find myself utilizing the most. The monitor is a core component of any setup, and my monitor of choice is still the Apple Studio display. Over the years, I've noticed that when it comes to monitors, size isn't everything. Brightness, viewing angles, and sharpness matter more. I've experimented with dual monitor setups and ultra-wide setups, but the Studio display is still king. It features a 5K retina display, providing exceptional image clarity and vibrant colors, making it ideal for creative work. With built-in speakers and a 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera, the Studio display also enhances video conference calling experiences. It has a sleek design, adjustable stand, integrating seamlessly into my workspace, offering both functionality and aesthetic appeal. So last year, I was struggling with neck and shoulder pain, which led me to reassess my posture. This experience highlighted the importance of a high quality chair for maintaining good posture. I recommend investing a significant portion of your budget in an ergonomic chair. While my previous chair wasn't bad, the Irma Miller Aeron is superior. It reinforces good posture and its multiple adjustments have noticeably reduced my slouching, allowing me to make maintain optimal posture throughout the day. High quality desk mats are more than just a setting separating the desk countertop from your mouse and keyboard. Premium desk mats like this one from Journey provide a smooth, consistent surface for your mouse and premium desk mats are also less likely to roll at the edges. They also act as a protective layer, shielding your desk from scratches, spills, and staining your countertops. The addition of wireless charging capabilities as seen in the Journey Ultra Desk Pad elevates functionality even further. It's a bit of a flex, but it's stream lines your setup by eliminating the need for separating charging cables, reducing clutter. Lighting can make your space feel warm, reduce eye strain, but also give your setup that cool factor. You'll notice that in my office space, we have a ton of lights and they all serve a purpose. Lifix light bar is used mostly for aesthetic purposes as a backlight to make my setup feel more moody. The Amram P60 softbox light is used to light a subject for when I'm shooting thumbnails of myself or wanting to get those cinematic night shots. The BenQ light bar is used for more performance purposes, reducing eye strain, making it easier to see my peripherals while also being more subtle and less harsh than the other lights. The Litra light from Logitech was purchased for adding another RGB light that I can use to set the mood and add additional subject lighting if I don't want to use my box light. I've been using both the Logitech MX Brio, Advanced 4K webcam, and the built-in studio display webcam that I mentioned earlier. A high quality webcam enhances my professional appearance and presence when in virtual meetings. The Logitech MX Brio has great image detail, ultra wide 8.5 megapixel camera sensor and uses AI enhancement for light correction in low light settings so your image will consistently look clean and exposed properly. Coasters are not exciting to talk about at all but to prevent condensation from cold drinks I recommend having coasters really for any countertop outside of marble. Not only are they functional and sophisticated but if you get softer material coasters they can add a cozier element to your setup. I actually picked up my couple coasters in felt and cork from a local vintage shop here here in New York City. I recommend adding a desk shelf to your setup. They're another one of those cool factor additions that make your setup less basic. They also clear up your desk space and position your screen at the correct viewing angle. Besides reducing clutter, they add additional vertical surface space as well. If you're living in an apartment or smaller living space, space saving designs like desk shelves can make a difference. I've been using the MX Master 3S mouse. It's ergonomic, comfortable, and there are a ton of customizations for productivity. It's one of those incredibly reliable products that you won't regret 
regret purchasing. I think the MX lineup is easily the best productivity mouse and keyboard combination. There's not a ton more to say. I think most people would agree. The final touches that really make my desk setups come to life are the incorporation of plants. Adding plants to your setup is more than just a decorative design choice. It's a way to breathe life into your workspace. Even if they're fake like the plants I have, plants not only enhance the visual appeal of your desk, but if you consider adding real plants, they can contribute to improved air quality and can boost your mood and productivity. As we wrap up this journey through desk accessories that truly matter that you won't regret, I'm really pleased with how my setup has evolved over time, incorporating both functionality and personal style. I used to get mostly caught up in just the big things like the display, the speakers, the desk itself, but there's so much more that makes a difference. Each element plays a crucial role in my productivity and comfort. Remember, it's not about finding the perfect setup. It's more about experimenting, figuring out what works best for you. Keep experimenting and don't be afraid to make changes as your needs evolve.